Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about WordPress and basically how you can add a new user to your WordPress website. So if you have a website like this, this is an e-commerce website, this is my website. If you have a website like this and you you add a you hired an SEO manager or an SEO specialist to do SEO for you, or you hired a content writer to write content for your website, and you don't want the situation, and you want to give them access to the website. You want to give them access to their own part of the website so that they will be able to do their job on the website without stress. So what you need to do is simple. You need to be, you need to give access to anybody you hire to work on your website. You need to give them their own access so that they can log in to the website behind you and do their job. So how can you do this? You the first thing you need to do, this is an e-commerce website we want to give somebody access to. So the first thing you need to do is to go to your Gmail. So if you this is my Gmail account you you go to the message or the details of your c panel your lo, your c panel login details that your hosting company sent to you you know when you want to build a website you buy a domain name and you buy hosting details so you buy hosting so where you got the domain name and the hosting will be sent to you. the details of your domain name and hosting will be sent to you by the domain company so all you need to do now is to log into your C panel. So this is my C panel. This is the C panel of this website. If you look at this primary domain here, right? If you look at this primary domain here, you see that it is the same thing as the domain we have here for my website. So log into the C panel of your website. This is the C panel of my website and locate WordPress. So try to locate WordPress. So you scroll down, you see we have emails. This is where you can set up your website's emails, autoresponder, folders, the billing and support for your cPanel. This is it. This is file. This is this file manager has all the files and the details on your website, basically. So you come down to database. This is where all your database, the database of your website. So you scroll down and you see software. This is where you do it. So if you want to install WordPress, let's say you want to start, you want to build the website, you want to install WordPress. This is where you will go. If you click on this now, you see you, you can install WordPress. Can you see install WordPress here? So this is where you can install WordPress. WordPress is a state of art publishing platform with a focus on aesthetics, website standard, and usability. So if you are using Joomla to build your website, you can install Joomla. You can install OpenCart. I think there is OpenCart here also. So there's no OpenCart again. So, but if you want to add someone to your website, since we've already built our website on this cPanel, you will come to WordPress Manager by so far, coolers. So you click on this. This is where you click on. Then you go to, you can see that we already installed. Can you see the URL? You can see that we've already installed WordPress. The WordPress is built on this C panel already. This e commerce website is built on this C panel already. So what I will do next is to click on manage users. Click on manage users. So if you come to if you see my if you click on manage users then you you select add new users so if you look at the rows under rows you say right you can say you can you see administrator if you want to add the person as an admin if you want to add the person as an editor if you want to add the person as an author if you want to add, add the person as a contributor if you want to add the person as a subscriber, as a customer, as shop manager, the, the reason why you have the shop manager here is because it's an e-commerce website. So if you want to hire a shop manager now and you want them to manage all your inventory and the lives, you can appoint them by giving them shop manager title. So we want to appoint SEO manager. So 
you select SEO manager. Then let's say I want to give the user, the username is required. So you put admin. Let's say we'll put admin there. Then we will put the email address of the person you want to employ. So let me put this my email address. The person you want to add as users, you put their email address there. So if you scroll down, then you put their password. So once you put that password, you put a name. You can, let's say, let's say you put, this name is not, putting a name is not required, but you can put a name. So all you need to do is to just click on add users. So it is saying username already exists. It already exists. So what we need to do is to change the username. So let's say, so let me write the username somewhere on my laptop so that I won't forget. And I'll write the password. So what you need to do is to just write, so let's say this is the username. We've changed the username. So what we need to do next is to just click on add new users. So can you see that user as user added successfully? So how can the user verify? How can you? So what, what is the next step or what are the next things that the user needs to do? He or she needs to check their email address. So let's go to the email address we just added and let's refresh. So if you come to, if I refresh this email address, your, the email should come in. So this is the email, this is the person I, this is the email address I gave or I added as users. So let me, let me check my spam. Maybe there's nothing in my spam. It might be, it might take a while for you to get a notification but it will definitely come in because the users the user has been added successfully they will need to get an email notification basically so once they get the email notification they will they will get it with a link that will allow them to log into the wordpress website so once they want to log into the wordpress website all they need to do is to go to let's say they want to log in to the WordPress website now. All they need to do now is to come to my web, is to go to their website and click on W slash admin, this URL. You know, if you want to log into your website now, you, you need to click on this. So let's open this in a new tab so that I can show you. They are supposed to send an email notification to the user you just added, but I don't know why. So if you want to log in, so you should get, this is what you are supposed to get. So you come to this place, then you put in, the user will put their username and they will put the password there. The password they just, you, the password you use to assign them. So once you do that, they will be able to log in and they will be able to work on your website as an SEO manager. So you can assign people. You can choose to assign people as an administrator. You can assign people as an author. You can assign people as an editor or anything you want to assign them as on your website, basically. Thank you for watching this video. If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that right away. See you in my next video.